Hey everyone, welcome to Carrots and Olives. My name is Brittany and today I wanted to share a little bit of a life update. In fact, I haven't created a new video in about a month. Uh, all the videos, the last three, four weeks of videos have been created on one day and that was back in early February. Um, but now we are in a new place. If you've been watching my channel, you may have realized me talking about how we were going to move and we finally did it and now we are in our new location. So I thought I would just share my journey uh, there. Uh, to start off, I wanted to go over my actual travel journal that I use while we were traveling. This is this was kind of a really big event for all of us in my family, and um, I've actually never done this long uh, of a trip for traveling. So I was really excited to be able to use a traveler's uh, notebook for this and. Um, I took a lot of things with me, like I was explaining in those last videos. Um, I took all my fountain pens with me and I have yet to like take them out of their fountain pen boxes or protective cases and put them in like their um, desk storage and everything like that. Um, I did not get a chance to finish my like February final thoughts, or was it, I did do my February final thoughts, I just didn't do my March final thoughts. Um, so a couple of things I noticed, I traveled with those same pens that I inked up at the beginning of the month. And I was really shocked at how much of my pens actually did not make it through um, the whole like month it was maybe a month and a, a week or so or two. The ones that did surprise me that actually were writing uh, majority of the time or if I hadn't picked up a fountain pen in a few days, they would still just write pretty flawlessly were my Twisbees, my Leonardo's. And this Leonardo was from a couple months ago, January, and my um, Esther book. And I have another extra book here um, that was also inked up and still writes pretty well. Everything else, my platinums and um, some of the other pens I had inked up, which I can't think of off the top of my head, weren't writing well. <laughs> and I don't know what it is, but... Um, these were pretty much the ones here that wrote in frame that stayed inked up. The ink didn't dry out and they, I could rely on them. Everything else just, it just wasn't cutting it. So like my, my platinums, my sailors, and I think I had some other, what was it? Oh, I can't, I can't remember, but I had some other pens that were inked up. Um, since then I have, I've been trying to clean them out. Even those, like I have yet to clean these out. I need to clean them out. Um, I used this Estra book cup. I use my rickshaw case and the um, koozie to travel with me and um, a couple of other little small single cases for pens to fit in the koozie. I used all of those while I was on my trip and they were in the car with me as we were traveling. I wanted a traveler's notebook because I thought it would be easier to carry with me and wouldn't take up much space in my bag. I used a lot of my superior labor bags to um, pack up my items into a bigger bag. And that was like sitting in the trunk of the 
of our vehicle. Um, and then my superior labor tote is the one that um, I would take around with me from one hotel to the next, uh, along with my menu purse or Minoy uh, purse. So this was the main purse I took with me. And I'm glad I took this one because it wasn't too big to carry around. I was still able to carry it even walking through some of the, the cities we were in. And it wasn't too heavy for me, uh, being that I um, am pregnant. And so I needed something kind of lightweight. The biggest, heaviest bag was my Superior Labor tote bag, which had like my journals and my pens in it. Um, but anyway, I think I did a pretty decent job with the type of things I brought with me. I kind of wish I would have packed a little bit lighter, um, which I will think about the next time if we are doing a big travel and a big move. So I wanted to get into this traveler's notebook. So this did come with me, this came with me. I did not even get in to use my traveler's notebook monthly or the weekly. These were both inside of here, but it was really bulky. So what I decided to do was actually take out my traveler's notebook insert uh, while I was journaling. And most of the journaling I did was actually in the car uh, while we were traveling or while we were driving and, um, and then in the hotels at in the evening to just kind of summarize. So I have just like this uh, clear plastic. This is really old and I found it again one day and so I just added it. So I have really old like baby pictures um, from like almost four years ago. <laughs> I put in the last picture we took at our old house, which is what we like to do is take pictures uh, in front of the our old house before we leave. I did title it waiting for when I do finish this insert. This is the number 13 insert and I did not really use fountain pens actually because I was having I was struggling with fountain pen ink and them drying out. I wanted to use a black or a really dark color and all the dark colors were in the fountain pens that weren't working um, or had dried out. So I ended up using just a like permanent marker so that I could do some watercolor, which I eventually changed my mind and decided not to, um, not to do. So this is the only page that really has color on it. So in brief, we started off in uh, Nevada and headed east. Um, we drove every day for almost eight hours, well, 10 hours. We had to stop every few hours because I had to be able to get out of the vehicle to walk around to avoid possible blood clots since I am pregnant. And that was, um, it worked out because at the same time I had to go to the restroom <laughs> uh, every few hours anyway. Our first stop, was in Albuquerque and um, we were able to actually get some Whataburger for the first time in like f five years, which was nice. Um, we're used to Whataburger because we're from Texas. Um, so we stopped there and then we were lights out. <laughs> uh, so then we had to get up early the next day to start our next travel day. And so we left our Albuquerque location, New Mexico, and headed towards Oklahoma. Made it to Oklahoma and we stayed at the Windham Hotel, which was downtown, really nice. It was uh, across from one of their um, centers where they have their, um, I don't know, the Paycom Center, I guess, where they have their basketball games. And there was actually a basketball game that night when we arrived. We ate dinner there. And then uh, my husband took the, um, uh, what do you call it? One of those 
things you plug into the back of the TV so we can watch The Last of Us and try to catch up. We were only watched like one and a half episodes before it was like really late. And um, then we were back up early again for travel day number three, which was another eight hours. And actually this was like, I think our worst day out of all the travel days um, or one of the worst days. We were both really tired because we were up really late watching the show and we were just, you know, at each other's necks for just little things. Um, there were toll roads that we weren't, we were expecting, but weren't at the same time because we had to stop every few exits because we we're having issues with a, um, the carrier that we had on top of our vehicle. And it was making so much noise as we were driving. Um, it was very windy through most of the cities that we were going through. Um, it was flat land for the most part, obviously going through um, New Mexico and then into Oklahoma. So the wind was really crazy and it caused our, we were just really nervous about having our carrier at the top making so much noise and we uh, have a glass top at the top. We didn't want that to shatter. And so we were just kept having to stop. And every time we stopped, because we were in the toll roads, we had to pay. <laughs> so it was a really tough day. And we lost a lot of time. We were on the road for a very, very long time that day. But we made it to St. Louis and um, ordered some Chinese food and then went to bed. Next day was the more exciting day, uh, which uh, we finally had made it to one of the cities I wanted to go to, which was Chicago, one of my favorite cities. My uh, kids had never been to Chicago and I it was going to be the one city that we were staying at that would be more uh, for fun. So we left St. Louis and made it to Chicago. And uh, we ended up staying at the Hyatt Regency, which is um, right off of the river. And it was one of the hotels I stayed at when I, the last time I had been to Chicago for a work conference. And uh, it was wonderful. We were able to visit Millennium this Park so I could show my kids the bean. And uh, we definitely weren't very ready for the weather. It was like, well, if you're from Chicago, I know, you know what it's like. This was the week uh, right before St. Patrick's weekend, um, before they changed the, uh, the water or the river green. And so that week it was chilling it was very cold and all we had were our jackets so we layered up and um went out to the millennium park which we could walk to since we were at the hyatt regency close to the river and we also ended up going down the one of the main roads i can't remember to macy's and ross to find some hats which it was like some gloves and some hats, which took us forever because um, they said they're, it's like not in season, even though it's freezing everywhere in the U.S. for the most part. <clears throat> we did happen to find some at Macy's, which were happened to be on sale um, because they were already, you know, had their spring clothes line out. So uh, we definitely couldn't find this stuff in Nevada, where we're from, as, you know, we figured, oh, we'll, we'll find some warmer clothes as we get uh, more north. Um, anyway, so we finally did. And so you could see my kids now have hats on. And we did go to uh, Giordano's, which was suggested by some of the ladies at Macy's. And uh, we wanted to get some deep dish pizza and pizza was delicious it took an hour to make uh, which they tell you at the very beginning if you were to get a deep dish and then my kids got the regular um it was like thin crust pizza which is also really good and the sides were yummy my youngest is not a huge 
pizza fan like the rest of us are. So he ate all the extra sides. And, um, and so this was the first city that we stayed two nights because I really wanted to just do something fun and show my kids the city. So that was the first night. Uh, the second day is where we did most of our activities. So we did go to a uh, breakfast location around the corner called Wildberry. And that was actually really good. I had some crepes and our crepes and I love them. That's one of my favorite French dessert or breakfast meal and they were delicious and they had really large servings. Um, we also went to the Museum of Science and Industry and uh, they had, it was huge. Oh my gosh, this building was, it was gigantic. I, we only had a few hours and we couldn't even get to everything. And plus I was really exhausted from all the walking. I couldn't walk anymore, my feet were hurting. So we only made it to two levels. We had the third level. We did make it to this area, which was really cool. Um, we did not get to see the Pompeii exhibit because you had to pay a little bit extra for some of the exhibits. But we, you could do so much more with just like the basic pay of visiting the museum as it did have three stories. So this is the front of the museum. We took pictures in the front. I just haven't added them. Um, <clears throat> and then after that, uh, this is the first time my kids took a Uber. Uh, we Ubered to the museum and then we Ubered to our next stop, which was to meet somewhere uh, on North Chicago, I think it was, um, to take the Chicago Crime and Mob bus tour. So we did that and learned about all the crime bosses back in the day. And we even took some pictures um, as we were uh, learning about Chicago. And then that evening we decided to go to Nando's for the first time. We would always, we heard about Nando's on Atlanta and some of the other TV shows we watch and we're like, oh, we need to go there. So it wasn't that far from the hotel. We walked there and the food was delicious. Then we saw a Stan's Donuts. Um, yeah, so we were on, was it Michigan Avenue? And um, we were able to, or North, North Bobiant, something like that on Lake Street. So we were able to go to Sand Donuts for some desserts. It was a little bit late, so they didn't have as many donuts as we were hoping, but they had a few of our favorites, which were like the um, the sugar and the, um, the sugar donuts, pretty much. Um, and then our last, that was our night. And then the next morning we had breakfast at the Hyatt and decided, uh, and that was the day we were leaving. So it was freezing and it was right, it was a day, two days before they were going to die the river. So that was sad. I wish we could have stayed a little bit longer so we could see that because we were right on the river and we would have been able to experience that in the parade that they have, um, <clears throat> uh, as the doorman was telling me. Uh, but we ended up driving to Ohio and meet with our friends there that we haven't seen in about five years. And um, the kids, they have kids too, and the kids are roughly around our kids' age. And so they were excited to see each other and we took pictures and we were excited to visit them. We stayed at our hotel that night and then early the next morning was going to be our last day uh, of travel. And that was our last stretch to get from uh, Ohio to New Jersey, which was our final destination. And it was the longest drive. It was, I want to say it's the, it was one of the hardest drives, scariest drives, most uncomfortable drive, um, because it rained and it snowed. 
and majority of the other cities we visited, we were um, pretty much had good weather outside of just wind. And um, most of the bad weather came after we left that city, which I felt like we were lucky to um, have left at the day that we did. But eventually the weather caught up with us and it was just a really uncomfortable drive, driving on like narrow lanes with 18 wheelers in wet conditions and snowy conditions. Um, but we finally made it to New Jersey and we were able to get the keys to our new location. And um, yeah, and then, and then I say tomorrow the work begins, which is starting to get the house ready for moving in. So that's pretty much all I have. I did have some pa uh, packages waiting for me when I got there. So I got to open those. One of the things was from Pocket Pam Studio, which was um, some stickers of hers. She's out of Germany and I love her artwork. And then um, just some other things that I've ordered, but I plan to try to finish this insert so that I can finish labeling when it's completed. And yeah, so that was our travel. It was six days of traveling and six different hotels with a family of four, two kids, two young kids, and we survived. So. There's that. Um, so what's coming up? I am going to show you some new goodies I got. Uh, one thing I wish I had time to do was visit Atlas Stationers and I just, it just didn't work out um, on the days that we were out and about. So one of these days we're gonna go back and I'm gonna be able to visit them, but <clears throat> I did get some new things uh, since then, since we've been in our new location, and I'm going to share those in the next video. But I hope you enjoyed this video and was able to get an idea of what was going on the past few weeks. Um, since then, since we got here, it's been about a week and a half, and we've been just moving in. Um, I finally have a office space that is clean and doesn't have boxes in it, is semi-organized. I got a new table. This is the flexi spot table. Um, and this is the desk, which I got the, um, the wooden top on this one. And I really like it. It's actually really nice. What's convenient is that I still have my old table and so I use my old desk for my work and then my new desk for personal <laughs> where I can do whatever and it's like in an L shape um, so I can lower and raise this desk and I can actually put it at a height for my kids to work on their activities while I'm busy doing something else at the other desk so I really like that feature and um yeah so i will show you in my next video uh or in a future video my office space my new office space and how i've stored my pens and situated everything this space is a little bit bigger than my last office space um as because it's a room. So I have a little bit more space to kind of not be so crowded and it's really nice. Anyway, that's all I have to say for today's video. I hope you guys are doing well. And if you have any questions, please let me know in the comments. Thank you for sticking around with me, bearing with me, and um, hopefully I can get back on track and start creating some more videos. Talk to you soon. Bye.